Let's look at some of the differences between the electric force and the magnetic force. So in the following we're assuming that the magnetic field is given. So what's the direction of the magnetic field, magnetic force on these two charges for instance? In this case the crosses here mean that the magnetic field points into the page. So if you have a negative charge moving in this direction with the velocity v, you have a positive charge moving in the same direction with the velocity v, what would the direction of the magnetic force on these two charges be? Well, if you use the, the right-hand rule, you get V cross B for each case. V cross B, when you put your fingers in the direction of V and you curl towards B, the, the, the force, the, the cross product will be to the left. And since in this case the charge is positive, you're multiplying a positive number times this cross product, so that means the force is to the left. But for the negative charge, V cross B is to the left, but when you multiply by negative number, it, what does a negative number do to a vector? It reverses its direction. So instead of the vector being to the left, it's to the right. So this minus sign here in the charge, for the negative charge case, it flips the direction and the force becomes this way. So even if you have two charges that are opposite in sign moving in the same direction, same direction with the same velocity, in the same magnetic field, but they will deviate in the different directions. So let's look at the electric force a little bit. The electric force always acts. If you put a charged particle in an electric field, it will always act on the charged particle. No matter if the charge is at rest or if it's moving, or whatever, it doesn't matter. For the magnetic force, uh, the magnetic force is Q V cross B. Now V means that if the, if the velocity of the charge is zero, then the force is zero. So the magnetic force only acts if the charge is moving. Um, the electric force, another thing about the difference between the two, the electric force acts parallel or anti-parallel to the electric field. For a positive charge, the electric force is in the same direction as the electric field. For a negative charge, the electric force is opposite the electric field. What about the magnetic force? The magnetic force is always perpendicular to the field because when you take the cross product between V and B, the cross product is always perpendicular to both vectors. So the, the, the force is always perpendicular to uh, the magnetic field. And that has a certain consequence. Um, so we can, what can you conclude about this for the speed of a charged particle in, a, in, a, in, a, in an electric field and the speed of a charged particle in a magnetic field? Can the, can the speed change? If you put a charged particle in an electric field, can the speed change? If you put a charged particle in a magnetic field, would the speed change? So let's see, if you look at the work done on a charge in an electric field, the work is integration of the force dotted into the displacement. So if, if the direction of the force is in the same direction as the motion, um, the dot product will be not zero, and that means the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy will be not zero, the work kinetic energy theorem. And so the speed of the charge can change. And it's very clear, if you put a positive charge at rest, it'll, there's a force going to be applied to it, it'll start to gain speed and gain speed and go faster and faster. So you can change the speed of a charged particle in an electric field. But if you put a charged particle in a magnetic field, can you change its speed? So let's see, if you get the work on a, due to uh, the magnetic force, we can rewrite dr as dr by dt dt. And what's dr by dt? That's just the velocity. So we can rewrite the work as in this way. Now the force, we can just substitute what its value is. It's qv cross b. So this is what the work is. Now notice that Q V cross B, this vector, is always perpendicular to V and B. So it's perpendicular to V. So when you have now this vector that's perpendicular to V dotted into V, the dot product between two vectors that are perpendicular to each other, the dot product is zero. And so the work is always zero. The work on a charged particle in a magnetic field is always zero. So th there's no way then for the final kinetic energy to differ from the initial kinetic energy. There's no way for the particle to speed up. So this doesn't mean that the charge won't change its direction. It could change its direction, but it won't change its speed. 
the velocity can change because the velocity is a vector, but the speed won't change. So an electric, to summarize, an electric force can do work on a charged particle if the angle between the electric force and the displacement is not 90 degrees. So the electric force can change the speed of a charged particle. But a magnetic force can do no work on a charged particle. You can't speed up a charged particle in a magnetic field. You can only change its direction. The units of uh, magnetic field are Tesla. So if the force is in Newtons, the charge is in Coulombs, the speed is meters per second, then the units of the magnetic field will be Tesla. So Tesla is the, it has these units. And um, the, there's another unit of magnetic field called the Gauss, and the relationship between the Tesla and the Gauss is just this way.